and I know you shared with me numerous times that you attribute all of your success to the level of impact that you make and that really money is just a byproduct. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you mean by that? Well, I believe that money is just the result, right? So, I, well, first of all, look, we, if you're in this for money, you're doing it for the wrong reason. I'll say that straight up. And I will argue all day long about that because I was chasing the money before and that's how, what put me on the couch, right? I was motivated by money and not to service to the clients, not to service to my teammates and not to service to my community. And it's so easy as lawyers when we get into the law because we think it's going to provide us with a great you know, uh, income. But if we begin to chase that money, man, that, that is a terrible way. You're going you're gonna to end up on a couch because you know, the Bible says money has wings, right? It does. It'll go away. And so money has to be just the result for great service and, and to going above and beyond. So I believe that wholeheartedly. Money is the payment, the compensation you receive for service provided. You have to do something. You know, I, I see this with kids today. Now, millennials, I say kids. I mean, I'm almost 50. I mean, they're not so many kids, but God bless them. I, I think they have an opportunity to change the world. And, you know, their hearts are good hearts. Just sometimes they get a little misguided. And part of it is our Instagram culture. We can talk about that later. But, you know, these folks get, you know, everyone wants to be their own businessman. Everyone wants to have their own business. And, you know, they want that for the financial and independence and freedom, really just freedom. The problem is, is that, you know, your business is never about you. Your business is about who you serve. And so, you know, you can't go out there. You know, I, I didn't like being at the big law firm after a while, but I didn't leave there because I didn't like it. I left there because I outgrew it, right? I wasn't somebody who was going to be rebellious and be like, screw you, I can do it better, right? I say that now because I do do it better, but, the, but, I, but that's not the message, right? The message is I hung in there, I toiled away, I learned the lessons I had to learn, and then I went out and said, you know what, I can do it better, I can serve the clients better, I can serve other people who I want to serve more, and so then really, you know, had that impact. So honestly, truly, you know, I, and I see some lawyers and, and God bless them. I, I'm not trying to say anything bad about them, but when you're tracking your results purely by your income, that's a wrong way to do it. Maybe settlements. I'm fine. you saying, you know what? I settled a billion dollars worth of cases. We're not there yet. We'll be there in a couple of years, but you know, billion dollars worth of cases, that's a billion dollars of cases. You settle for real people with real cases, you know, bless you. Right. But if you're saying I made, you know, $25 million last year and it's just about you, forget it. You're, you're going to lose it eventually, I promise you. It's going to come time, and you're not going to have the, the, the wherewithal you need to make the next step because you just, you've got your priorities messed up. So, you know, and that's why giving, by the way, is also important because it keeps the money at a distance. The money is not the objective. It's just the service, and then you will, you will naturally recover or receive the blessings from the service you provide. That's a, that's a non-negotiable. That's fundamental. Like, if you want to do this for money, do something else because there's never enough money for that.